It starts with one thing. I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to explain in due time. For oh, I know time is a valuable thing. Watch it fly by as the pendulum swings. Watch it count down to the end of the day. The clock ticks life away. So unreal. Didn't look out below. Watch the time go right out the window. Trying to hold on, but I didn't even know. I wasted it all to just watch, watch you go. go. Kept everything inside, even though I tried, fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time when I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. In the end, it doesn't even matter. One thing, I don't know why It doesn't even matter how hard you try Keep that in mind, I designed this rhyme To remind myself how I tried, tried so hard Despite the way you were mocking me Acting like it's part of your property Remembering all the times you fought with me I'm surprised it got so far Things on the way they were before You wouldn't even recognize me anymore not that you knew me back then, but it all comes back to me in the yeah. end. You kept everything inside, and even though I tried, it fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time when I tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall. trust in you I'm pushed as far as I can go for all this it's only one thing you should know I'm putting my trust in you I'm pushed as far as I can go I'm for this There's only one thing you should know I tried so hard And got so far Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing In The End by Linkin Park, an acoustic version. Obviously, I've got the capo on the sixth fret so we can sing along with the original tune. However, I've normally played it for years just in standard tuning without a capo. Sounds nice, right? So you can do exactly the same intro without a capo and you can sing along. They're really easy chords, guys. Even though, you know, I might do a bar F chord, you can do the alternative F, which is easy. So this really is a super easy guitar song. Let's zoom in and have a closer look.
So let's have a look at this intro. I've got the capo back on the 6th fret again. It just starts with the A minor. And then I'm doing what we're going to call the G over A minor. Obviously, you know, that's the C sharp. And then I'm using my thumb to play what would be the F, okay? So I'm very much improvising the picking, guys. So it's going to be something like um, A, D, top E. And go between the top E and the D. I'll probably hit different strings every time. And make sure you hit the B at the end. So then I've got this G over what is now an A sus2, so I'm removing the first finger. I've still got the remains of the A minor. And I'm just going between, between the bottom E and the D, and then finishing off on the G. Like I said, it's improvised, so don't worry too much. Then I'm using my thumb for this, what we're going to call, you know, it's B, but we're going to say it's F because, because it's the F chord that we're referencing. So it's, you know, F over A minor. Here we go, let's go back to the beginning. G at the end, and then the same thing again. So I'm going to that F, and then back to that G again. Okay, and it's really, you can really tell now what I'm doing, it's, it is very improvised, you don't have to think about it too much, okay? I mean, you could get really precise with it, that's entirely up to you, what picking pattern you want to do. Okay, so that's all that's going on there. So moving on to the verses, what I tend to do in the verses is keep the same chords as the intro, but you know, I've changed the rhythm up a bit to make it less kind of rap, I guess, hip hop, and just a bit more folky, a bit more, you know, to what I'm doing with my vocal. So you can keep it really simple like that. Random picking, A minor. You can pretty much, you know, keep the intro going over it. I played it a little bit different, obviously. But if you wanna, you know, just get used to singing it and playing it at the same time, always keep it simple. You know, and I would always suggest, especially when you're singing and playing it, just keep it simple downstrokes. By the way, if you can't do the thumb over there with an F, you can use the first finger. It's going to slightly change the chord, but don't worry about that, okay? So A minor, G, or G over A minor, F, back to that G. Okay, and so those two fingers are constantly, the second and third finger are constantly on the middle strings. They don't move. Okay, and that just rolls through the verse. You could mix it up, you could change the rhythm. So then in the chorus, I go to more conventional strumming. Doesn't really matter. Depends on the style of the song you're doing. Doesn't really matter what you're doing with the strumming, okay? Because it's obviously my own little version. I tried so hard, I got so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. So I'm, you know, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. People always ask me the strumming pattern. Just, you know, rather than getting into this down, down, up business, try and find a feel for it. So if you can't work out where the down and up strokes are, keep it simple, keep it down. 
when you're comfortable, throw a nap in. You could actually heavy it up a bit by just playing the power chords. This is the ninth fret, okay? Still on the ninth fret, now on the E string. Seventh fret on the E string. Open A and eighth fret on the D string. So that would be the power chords, okay? And then, you know, back into the verse, I'm doing exactly the same what I was doing in the first verse. Then we're into the bridge. Slightly changes the chords, okay? But it's straightforward again. I put my trust, A minor, in you. So you could play the intro chords. Pushed as far as I can go. For all this, there's only one thing that you know. So I'm just doing the intro. And then the chords change on the second time around. Put my trust, A minor, in you. C, pushed as far G as I can go. F or F power chord, A minor, C just repeats again. Should know. I tried so hard and got so far. Really easy, right? You could even, you know, heavy it up. A minor, down up, 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 down up. Then I just finish with the intro. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you want to receive my weekly updates. Don't forget I don't get paid for these lessons guys, so that's due to copyright. If you'd like to support me and help me continue doing these covers on this channel, you can find some merchandise over on my website, or I've set up a donation button over on PayPal. Any loose change you have would be massively appreciated, and everyone that donates on a regular basis, I really super appreciate it, so thank you so much. If you'd like to send me a request, hit me up over on Instagram, and I'll see you again the same time next week, guys. Enjoy.